Google is at it again. The search engine giant announced they will be acquiring yet another startup tech company. This time, it's InstaWheels. Noodle purchased the car sharing startup for $750 million. The startup's future was already threatened by Driver San Francisco. But tech insiders say that with Noodle integrating its search and map functions into the InstaWheels sharing service, it will dominate the marketplace. This is considered a shot across the bow at Noodle competitors such as Invite, who has also been expanding its portfolio of startups. Marcus, what does Home System look like to you? CTOS Junior. So it wouldn't surprise you to know that they've got a deal going on with Bloom. After what we just did to them? Yes. I bet all deals are off now. What were the terms? CTOS code is the base of home software. Collected data sold back to Bloom. At a hefty discount, of course. Sounds like we showed up at the right time, then. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, man, shit, what's, shit. What, hey, what's going on? I was looking at our numbers, how many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we had available, and that's when I saw it. It, what, it, what? A chunk of our followers and bots came from inactive or dead invite accounts. Hey, wait, so someone used a social media site to boost our numbers? Who? And how many fucking accounts? I don't man? know who, but it came from inside invite. Someone with admin access, I'm sure of that. As for how many? Fuck Sorry. Me. Sorry, I didn't check. It's, no, it's all my fault. I didn't check. Josh, no, I didn't it's check. You no, know, maybe someone inside Invite is a fan. Yeah, or maybe we're getting set up to get fucked. Checked. We need to find out. Marcus, find your way inside. I should have just Josh, checked. Josh, Josh, it's not your fault, okay? Look, we all saw the numbers. You're the only one who caught it. You did good. You did good. Huh? Sending you the flagged accounts. Use the CEO's computer, Mary Catskill. She's on vacation, so her office should be empty. So the other day I was noodling something and I accidentally clicked on an ad My for bad. hemorrhoid cream. Oh, now damn I'm being it, bombarded I'm with pop-ups for retirement home. Feel something. Going on a run down south. Sure you do. him right into the concrete. That mojo came up, took another swing at me. I thought, here we go. No, man. I've been blocked. Sad face. More like angry emoji. Which one? All of them. It's like suspending my account. Maybe. Yeah, I guess, but fuck that. Okay, 
What's your problem? Okay, Shit, whatever. Brains. I unlocked the elevator. Heading there now. Bueno, yo. Este. Heading up. I'm gonna get us some answers. Good luck, Marcus. We're with you. I'm in. Trying to figure out who boosted our numbers. Whoa, whoa. What happened? The flight clients just vanished. We lost the bots. What did you do? Nothing. This isn't me. I... Marcus, is this a bad time? Sort of feels like a bad time. And she drinks it with ice. I don't really need to introduce myself, do I? I know who you are. That night at the beach, man, I knew you looked fucking familiar. Well, Venus must have been in retrograde or some bullshit because I think it was fate that I was in the night that you hacked into our system. I had to meet you, and there you were, pissing on your sneakers. All brains and no aim. What's Bloom's CTO doing in the office of the CEO of Invite? And why'd you boost our numbers? Uh, this is the part where you offer me a six-figure salary? <laughs> no, fuck no. No, no, no. You could coat circles around most of my programmers, no, see, I can't pitch uh, CTOS 2.0 as a state-of-the-art security system and then hire someone that's on the no-fly list. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just came here to have a drink. But hey, if you want to have a drink and a dance, I'm in. Oh, you think it's a fucking joke? Do it. Roll a fucking punch. <laughs> you got everybody eating out your fucking hands thinking the system's bulletproof? You can't see the people you're stepping on. Guess what, Marcus? Guess what? The people want to be told who is good and who is bad. They don't care how it works, only that it does. But it doesn't fucking work. A few fucking civilian casualties is the cost you have to pay for the betterment of the world. You're fighting a war no one gives a shit about. Now they're just swimming upstream right into the grizzly's mouth. So why'd you prop up dead sex numbers? There's no one in Silicon Valley could throw a proper punch. Ah, and you're a great investment. You're so aggressive, so indignant. You frightened the rest of Silicon Valley right to my doorstep. You used us to sell CTOS 2.0 to them. It was the ultimate deterrent against hackers like you. And now, everyone needs my protection. So, here it is, Marcus. Your record is back on file. Your backdoor access is plugged. And those bots I gave you, are gone. Oh, 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 and there's a warrant out for your arrest. For hacking, corporate espionage, and breaking and entering. It's okay. I was done with it anyway.
We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. All units, fuck. I got played. Fuck. Cops are surrounding the building. Get out of there. Fuck. Marcus, they're surrounding the building. Get pissed later and get out now. I repeat, come out with your hands up. All right, all right, I'm, I'm going. Marcus, it's getting too hot out there for you. Come back. We'll figure this out together. Not that bad. We look like a bunch of chumps. Stop! Fucking damn it! Wrench, calm the fuck down. It's not helping. Yeah, you're right. It's not helping. Marcus, you got anything to say? Well, guys, I to be honest with you, uh, I genuinely don't have a plan. But I got an idea and I don't know, just trust me on this one. Here we go! <gasps> oh, good for you, Wrench! I know things haven't been great lately. Yeah, <laughs> they've sucked. But whatever shit we're in now, that's now. You helped us find our voice. We took on the Giants and had one motherfucker of a run. Never thanked you for any of it. Hey, why are you talking like it's over? Isn't it? I'm still in. I know you are, and we can convince the others that... You're not in? These are from our DeadSec channels. DeadSec is not worthy. DeadSec is a bunch of skiddies. You told us lies and bullshit. Hashtag dead suck. Yeah, so we got some shit stirrers. Who cares what they think? Who cares what they... Jesus, Marcus. Have you been paying attention? I care what they think. I've worked my ass off for years, trying to earn us respect long before you ever showed up. This is my brand. Now it's completely fucked. So unfuck it. I don't know if I can. Uh, well, if it makes you feel any better, at least you're not a fugitive. <laughs> oh, damn. I wonder if there's a bounty on your head. Maybe I can salvage this. Oh, please, man. you couldn't catch me if you wanted oh, to. Oh, you're talking to a track star, bitch. Walk. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anything. Yeah, me neither. If I gotta drag their asses out to the middle of the desert to keep DeadSec together, I'm gonna do it. DeadSec's come too far to give up now. Whoa! Smoker Skelter's new we'll annual Jabberwock Hacking Challenge begins soon at the Center Sculpture. Josh! What you Who's your friend? Oh. This is Susan. She's a second grade teacher from Milwaukee. She's 32 and she drives a cherry red. Cool. Hey, we're gonna meet by the big sculpture for a group shot before the challenge. Um, whenever you're ready. Didn't mean to, uh, step on your game here. Game? Uh, we're not playing a game. I was just explaining to Susan how if your low speed mixture adjustment is too rich, your engine's going to buckle under all the excess fuel. That's a four cycle idle and that can be a no no. Yep, sh sure can. Okay, well, I'll see you out there. Leaving your mark? Always. But not dead sex. Doesn't feel right, you know? Come on, don't bum me out here. 
I'm trying to have a good time. Me too. So we, as in DedSec we, are gonna enter that hacking challenge and we're gonna win. And the others are okay with this? They will be. I got a nice smile. Well, you do have a nice smile. <laughs> See? No problem. We're gonna do this. Everything's gonna be okay. You've got it all figured out, huh? Nah. But I do know if I get you back in Satara mode, you'll figure out most of it for me. <laughs> Damn. You are dangerous. <laughs> Meet us by the ugly sculpture when you're ready. All right. See you there. Hey man, what you working on? Gonna get these people moving. But they need a proper track list. This shit barely has a pulse. DJ ratio. Just ratio. Back when I used to do sets. Hey, maybe I'll go back to it. What else am I gonna do now? Man, dead sex not over. We hit a pothole, that's all. We're gonna come back stronger. You're always so sure of yourself. I know. But I'm always right. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, that's much better. Locked their DJ out of his tools, too. The savior of the party. Hey, once you're done giving these guys a hard time, meet me in the middle. Dead sex entering a competition. I'll be there. This isn't a fair fight. Oh, it's so not fair. Little guy's gonna get the shit kicked out of him. But that's what makes it fun, right? You like to watch a little guy take his lumps. Yeah, I mean, so he can get back up on his feet again and overcome, right? You're trying to turn this into a metaphor for DeadSec, aren't you? I mean, if you want to keep DeadSec going, I'm right there with you. But if you're putting your metaphor money on that weirdo, no. He's going down and staying down. <laughs> yeah, it's a long shot. Hey, are you joining us for the competition? Yep, I'm down. That's us. All right, people, gather up. We need a group shot. Hey, try to look pretty for the camera, huh? Always. Okay, looks like the challenge is starting. Hey, Josh, get on the numbers and feed it answers. Wrench, you got the jab of what? Get it wired up and ready. Ratio, I need you to run interference on arrivals. Slow him down. Satara and I are gonna hack this thing. <laughs> Let's get it. Dead set. Let's go, guys. Drone's up there, if you need a better view. Almost there. I'm inside. Okay, what is this? <laughs> nice! Throwing up the horns and punctuating them. We should focus. There seems to be a timer. Think you can hack it? Of course. Stop fucking moving! Don't mess with Satara.
It's ah. hey, you kids want to feed your heads? Two ounces of sacrosanct mind fuck. People, I am going offline now. See you on the other side. Oh, Horatio, you good, man? The word good has lost all meaning, my friend. Mm. Okay, you good? Mm. Did I forget to mention that these boomers had a little acid bath? Uh, Josh? It's okay, they're using hallucinogens in clinical trials for... Mass bees. Mass... Mass bees. <laughs> Josh is feeling it. Okay, let's go find something for you to stare at. Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Man. You're not Ray. You're Ray, Raymond Kinney Ray. I, I still got your old hacker zines, man. I remember reading War Driver and gearing up my 10 speed, backpack with an antenna. Shit, I even used your old root kit, man. Fuckstay? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well, I assumed you were all just skitty pests. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Your crew seems to have a lot of unfocused noise. You the leader? The fine world. Uh, no, nah, man, it doesn't work like that. Dead sex got a rule. No personal armies, no leaders. Yeah. Well, FYI, I saw you leading out nah, there. Man, this is everything we're fighting against. The system back home is completely fucked. And any kid out there on the sand is gonna say the exact same fucking thing. Easy words, bro. Easy words. All right. A few years ago, this broken-ass system marked me as a criminal risk. Linked me to some shit I didn't even do because it was probable. And now, with CTOS, it's everywhere. I mean, I, I can see it down to the... <laughs> the to the sub subliminal shit. You just multiply. Yeah, we have a tendency to do that. What you call subliminal is a bellwether, Marcus. You got a sharp eye, kid. But subliminal is passive. Bellwether program is control. It's like a Orwell Huxley double punch profile. Media manipulation, corporate collusion, consumerism, all driven by predictive algorithms. And now, it's setting up shop in the heart of the Silicon Valley. And somebody at Bloom's using CTOS to feed it data. You're recruiting. Fuck up, let's what, go. Man. Uh, I just spent the night in a pup tent next to a lady who was very nude and very tattooed. Good oh, for you, girl. No, you don't get it, man. She was the sons of Ragnarok bride. Oh. I guess we gotta go, man. We gotta fucking vamoose now. Come on. Fuck 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you said you guys fucked up. How bad is it? Yeah, we all at risk now because my name's got a red flag on it. Yeah, people are gonna start making the connections. Yeah, where the fuck is everyone? Is that all? It's enough. We're talking about Bloom here. Hey, and you're talking to Bloom's public enemy number one, son? Yeah. I've been dodging those bastards for years. If you want, I could scrub you from the system. Give me a couple hours. Just like that? Well, I might have to sacrifice a goat as part of my arcane ritual, but yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking for you all morning. Turns out Swelter Skelter doesn't have a lost and found. <laughs> nah, it's more of a finder's keeper's policy out there in the desert. What in the hell is he doing here? Yeah, Marcus, why did you invite this stranger into our house? Look, look, it just happened, all right? We were running from these bikers, right? Yeah. And look, you know what? It doesn't even matter. He's cool. Oh, he's cool. Well, that's good. Because we usually discuss these things as a group. I know. It's my bad. But you met Ray already, right? I want to introduce you to Raymond Kinney. That's Raymond Kinney? I thought you'd be cleaner. Yeah, I get that a lot. Can I have a hug? Um, yeah, I have a two-second room. <clears throat> I get this a lot, too. Can we keep him like a hacker in residence? Yeah, we could use his help. He should, he can, he, he can stay here, right? He should, he should stay here. Okay, fine. But if he fucks with any of us, I'm gonna pop his nuts like ripe grapes. Message received. Nice hat. Nice mask. Okay, we're good. You want a beer? Uh, yeah. I would love a beer. Or two. Oh, thank you. Grab the man some hardware, too. He's gonna teach us some magic. Juicy shit, my friend. Uh -huh. Hey, kid. Ready to change the world? Get out. I got something for you. Guys, I got a lead on a potential pedophile working for home. For fuck's sake. Big Brother's a sex offender? This is exactly why we went after home. So who is this guy? Cole something or other. I don't have a last name. We probably got an employee list from our home head. Let's see. Uh-huh. Cole Lang. I'll find him. Get some evidence. See what kind of person home is harboring. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Marcus, the followers just keep on coming. That's gonna get a reaction from Bloom. I can't believe people let them grab so much power. All that sci-fi shit we read as kids. 
Big Brother, Thought Control, Pre-Crime. It's all here now, isn't it? Thanks to Bloom and their CTOS. Those authors saw it coming decades ago, but nobody listened. Everybody's too sold on pleasant corporate platitudes and flawless branding to realize the whole damn thing's a societal Trojan. It doesn't help that CTOS actually does what they say it does either. We're opposing a system that helps people on the surface, but exploits them behind the scenes. Makes it easy to paint us as the bad guys. Question for you. How much access does DedSec have to CTOS? In other cities, when it was still CTOS 1.0, we had a lot. Sucks because we were too careless. Missed our window to do something big. In 2.0, we're the first group to go up against it. So we're still playing catch up. They were expecting us this time. <laughs> the thought of DedSec written on a whiteboard in some Bloom office makes me all squishy inside. We keep it up. Next time, maybe they'll use the red marker. Thank you.